A recent idea that was proposed by Susskind and Maldacena was the idea of EPR equals ER. In 1935, Albert Einstein wrote two papers. One of them was written with Nathan Rosen, and this paper was about tunnels in space-time called wormholes. This paper is also called the Einstein-Rosen paper, or just the ER paper. The other paper was about the possibility of quantum entanglement, and it was written in collaboration with Nathan Rosen and Boris Potolsky. Hence, this is also called the EPR paper. The EPR equals ER idea establishes a link between quantum and entanglement and wormholes. After Susskind's paper on black hole complementarity, people found some problems with this proposal. If a particle-antiparticle pair is produced near a black hole, one of these particles can go into the black hole, let's call it D, and the other one can fly off to a large distance. Let's call this particle A. This is how Hawking radiation is produced. Now, A and D need to remain entangled. It turns out that if they don't remain entangled, it is in conflict with the prediction of general relativity. In general relativity, an observer falling into the black hole doesn't feel anything strange because the horizon of the black hole is smooth without any singularities. It turns out that if A and D don't remain entangled, the horizon of the black hole does not remain smooth. The real problem starts when the black hole becomes quite old. Let's assume that there is a second particle-antiparticle pair and one of them goes into the black hole, let's call it C, and the other one starts to go far away, let's call it B. Now B is the new Hawking radiation and A is the old Hawking radiation. Due to the work of Don Page, there are some arguments that when a black hole becomes older, Enough, the old Hawking radiation becomes entangled with the new Hawking radiation. This means that the particle B is entangled with particle A and particle C, although A and C are independent of each other. This is something that cannot happen. We know that a system cannot be entangled to two other systems that are independent of each other. This principle is called the monogamy of entanglement, and this is a big problem for black hole physics. In 2012, physicists Amo Dalamiri, Donald Marolf, Joseph Polchinski, and James Sully provided a resolution of this problem by saying that particles B and C are not entangled. They said that entanglement between two particles goes away when one of them falls into the black hole. Recall that this entanglement was necessary for the horizon to stay smooth. But the entanglement between B and C can't just vanish in thin air. It turns out that this loss of entanglement causes large amounts of energy to be deposited just inside the event horizon of the black hole. And this creates what physicists call a firewall. Any observer falling into the black hole will be burned because of this firewall and therefore the horizon of the black hole will not stay smooth. In order to counter the firewall proposal and to solve the original problem, Susskind and Juan Maldacena gave the EPR equals ER proposal. This proposal says that any two entangled particles are joined by a wormhole. These wormholes can be very small in size, but they are there. Due to this proposal, we can see that in the original problem, A and C are joined by a wormhole and therefore they are not independent and the firewall problem goes away. This proposal has some problems though. An entangled state is a linear combination of states that are not entangled. So the state in which two particles are joined by a wormhole should be a linear combination of the states in which particles are not joined by a wormhole. This seems a very very strange conclusion and people are working on this problem.